Part 2. Azure Moon. Blue Sea Moon. The Impregnable Fortress. When Claude steps down as its leader, the Leicester Alliance disbands and its lords swear fealty to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The chaos in the kingdom begins to dissipate as the people unite under Dimitri's rule. Riding this momentum, the kingdom army prepares to march south for a decisive battle against imperial forces. We will finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire kingdom. In addition, ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Affairs within the kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, if we're going to march from the Monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murden again, right? Yes, I believe so. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. After the bridge, we can cross Grander Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, the so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. Fort Mercius? I know of it. They say it rivals even Aryan Road. Count Burgles, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. If we try to avoid it, those troops will follow us and attack from the rear. It is best for us to handle the situation head on. Once we take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. In other words, if we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. I just received a report on that very subject. The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. It is the Death Knight who awaits us there. Good timing. You have to talk some sense into my father. Recently, he's been doing nothing but work himself to the bone. Even when he's taking breaks from training and errands, he's apparently listening to reports, day in and day out. Uh, he's getting on in years, you know? I just want him to take care of himself. <laughs> I 
love a good fortress. The perfect place to hide. This one's impregnable too, isn't it? Perfect! As soon as we take it, I'll set up a special spot for Bernie. I guess you have a point. What would you call it then? A little pregnable? Just as we suspected, Lady Rhea was taken to the Imperial capital. We must get to the capital as quickly as possible. So many people are worried sick about her. I do wonder when Claude managed to learn Lady Rhea's whereabouts. He's pretty shrewd. I can't help but admire him. This experience is critical. I wonder where Claude will go. From the sound of it, he's leaving Fodlin altogether. He was strangely gallant about the whole thing, even left his relic behind. Elusive and mysterious to the end, isn't he? Even in the kingdom, only a few people knew about His Highness and Edelgard's relationship. Me? I always knew those two to be like brother and sister. To think that we would come to see this world, where they are at war with one another. I live it, and can still barely imagine such a truth. Perseus is a keep that was constructed to defend the Imperial capital, Enbar. We cannot enter the capital without first capturing that fort. But once we have it, the city should be almost entirely at our mercy. Now that we know Rhea is there, we must move with the utmost urgency. <sighs> the Death Knight. I shudder to think of him. Professor. You remember my connection to him, do you not? I am still working through the trauma from back then. All these years later. If we meet him, I swear I will have my revenge. Onward, we're in all-out war with the Empire. Are you prepared, Professor? I'm glad to hear it. That means we can approach the coming battles with peace of mind. First, we capture Fort Mercius. The fighting will undoubtedly be brutal, but we must prevail. 
As far as this army and I are concerned, you're our last ray of hope. We are relying on you. Claude has stepped down from leadership, and Leicester is now a vassal state of Fargus. The lords of the Western Kingdom are beginning to declare fealty to us in greater numbers also. The Empire is our only remaining enemy. teacher. like to do I have a question We can handle it. Let us begin at once. Look at our excellent results. All the more reason to train diligently. Singing in tune with others proved quite difficult. Not sure I should sing with everyone. I'm not great at harmonizing.
just not there yet. All that work was worth it. I understand more every day. We completed our task without incident. Making strides. Is this what success feels like? We completed our task without incident. I'm finally grasping this. 